Hi, this is Margaret from Margaret's Crafts. I want to share with you my August uh, knitting, crocheting, and sewing that I've uh, worked on and only completed like one thing. And uh, that was my socks. Uh, the socks are the Hermani Everyday Socks. There's a free pattern on Ravelry. And I don't know if it shows up. Yeah, it has the print. This is the first time I did with the uh, uh, heel flap and the gusset. And these are knit from uh, the top down. And this is where I was. On this sock the last time I showed it to you I had just gotten started on them and I had just uh, did the uh, cast on and the um, the ribbing for the socks so these are Hermione's everyday socks by Erica Lauder L U E D E R and they're knit with my Deborah Norville size 2 which is a 2.75 millimeters and the yarn is Deborah Norville Serenity Sock Weight and the color Indigo. And these are 50% Superwash Merino uh, wool with 25% rayon. They fit fantastic and they feel great. So I was really happy to finish these. And that's, well, that's my only finished knitting item. I, I had knit a couple of these. I mean, I had sold a couple of these. These are my, uh, I made some zipper project bags. And I just put like a, uh, like a very light print on the inside. And this was my, this is what I use for uh, my sock bag when I just have the uh, single skein or two skeins. And I had told you before how I got socks and I cut them up and made my um, my little pouch for my um, uh, yarn cakes. And then I have a little notions bag with uh, some scissors and a pencil to mark where I'm at. And I had also been working on stitch markers to go with each of my sets. And I found these little cases. This is, uh, I found these at Joann's. They hold where you can mix the glitter and it's six on a, you get six of these or is it eight of these? I think it's six of these. And I think they were $2.99 and I used my coupon. And I had just made some, uh, stitch markers and some plain ones and I just matched them up with the bag because this one has pink and green so I put the green stitch markers uh, the next item that I'm working on Oh, I want to share these bags with you. I found these bags at a local store that we have here, and it's called uh, Marks. I'll just show you. They come like this. And they were $2.99. And they have the gusset on the bottom. And then I also found matching... Uh, little cosmetic bags and these were not a dollar 99 for the three of them so I've been using these as my project bags my zippered project bags look how nice they are it's a nice bottom they come in all different colors I have them in all different colors I think there was like well I got all the solid color well the solid and the polka dots but they have a, they had a lot of florals and I didn't like those and they all came with matching you know I could buy the matching little bags and this is what I'm using on uh, uh, socks that I'm making for my son. And I have the 
the little cosmetic bag for my my notions then I just keep some uh, darning needles or yarn needles my stitch markers and each bag that I have I made the stitch markers to go along with it these are some the bag is black so I made the black stitch markers there we go and then I have my glasses scissors pencils and stuff and tape measures are in these bags and the socks that I'm making him are the let's see uh, the lizard socks it's a paid-for pattern on Ravelry but I'm not making the um, the design on the socks I'm just doing the lizard and I also didn't use their heel and I use the fish lip kiss heel I'm trying all the different heels out and I have my little balls that I made up with my yarn in it and see how they uh, flatten up as the yarn gets smaller and smaller they flatten up and so I have the two cuffs because we all like to wear the short socks so I have the, the cuff done and the heels done on each one. And then I'll work on the other one. And I did the cuff and the heel. Then I started working down the sock a little bit. And that's the... Where's the camera? Right there. That's the lizard. This one I'm making with the lizard's tail going down. And then the other sock is going to be the head of the lizard going up. Like one sock has a lizard going down to the toe and the other sock has a lizard coming up to the cuff. And that's the beginning of that sock. There you go. Right there. And... These, I made these two. I was in doing my sewing and I made these. These go with my sock bag. And these are the needle holders when you're working on socks. And I made, I just uh, made shorter ones for my sock needles that goes with my sock bag. And you just put the snaps in and they're made like that. It's a little pouch. And when you have your socks, I use two circulars and I just put, and these are also supposed to be, when, if you make them big enough, you can stick your DPNs, your double pointed needles in there. And I put it in there and lock it. And I put the other side and the other side and lock it. And they don't pull out. So I won't have to worry about messing around with these in my bag. They just drop in my bag. I just haven't made black ones yet for to go with the black bag. And that's my other little sewing project. I made two of those, one for each sock. Okay, and that's what's in my black bag. And, like I said, I have a green bag, too. And I bought little things, because then I put um, little hooks on these. And when I'm working with my stitch markers, I hook my stitch markers onto here as I'm working when I go to take them off and on. And this one is, oh, the pattern's right here, because I was working on it. The Dirk the Dragon. It's a paid for pattern on Ravelry. And it's by Lafali uh L A 
L A L A. No, L A L Y L A L A. You can find it on Ravelry. And so far, I've I have his head and his hat in, and I have his legs and started up the body. This is the same pattern like I had made my other son the uh, toadstool. You make the body basically the same way. You just change it up a bit. And, you know, I have my little thing to go with, with each color. And that's what I have in this project. This bag, oh, it just has, um, this is another bag with the uh, polka dots on it. And this one just has, I'm getting ready to um, make the, um, this one was a free pattern that I found on the internet. It's Michelle's Elsa hat. And I'm making it, except I'm changing it up. Where the blue is, I'm putting the white. And then the white crown, I'm going to do that in blue and then with her white hair. So I was just starting and putting my yarn in there. I'm making that for a little girl for Christmas. And I have the white for the, uh, the hair and her hat part. And then I have this that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. It's going to be for her crown with the uh, teal and the, um, the silver in it. And that is, I love this yarn from Hobby Lobby. And it is in the Peacock Sparkle. So I have that ready that I'm going to be starting on working on that for Christmas. And the last thing that I'm working on is still my top that I've been working on. And I'm right in the middle of a round. So, there's my marker. So this is what I have so far. Uh, it's made in the front and the back, and I was here the last time I showed it to you. So I worked that far up. And that was the front, and then here's the back. I have this much on the back done. And I was here the last time, right here. So I have that much done. So it's coming along nicely. I'm not in a rush. This is what I work on. You know, I work on this in the evening, like, and I just share this back and forth with my crocheting that I'm doing. And I usually just take the socks, and whenever we go somewhere, I work on the socks. And this is a uh, this is another free pattern from Ravelry, Ravelry and it's Peyton Silk uh, Bamboo uh, four row feather and fan hat. I mean top knit top, and that's it over there. So I'm probably about three-fourths of the way done on it because it's it's just uh, it has just a little short little sleeve kind of thingy on it. And it's in one of my sweater bags that I had made with the drawstring for the fitter for those. And this is one. I can take with me when I go somewhere in the car because the socks I was you know I needed a um, to keep looking at the pattern to tell when to put the uh, lizard in and with this one I know the pattern repeats and I just got to keep doing the same thing until I get to the, uh, the the correct length of it so the last time we went to uh, one of my husband's doctor's appointment I just carried this and it was kind of odd to carry you know, without the uh, straps. See, this is what I'm talking about. I put these little hooks on 
the side and put my stitch markers as I'm working on there. And uh, this can just draw string shut. And it was kind of odd to carry like that. So what I did was I went back in and added some straps and I made them really long. I made them too long really because that's why they're in the knot there. Uh, and I just carry this over my shoulder like a shoulder bag. And it worked out really nice. It's not too big that it's too much to carry around with me yet. And another item that I found when I was at a store called at store called Marks for $2.99 is this small little file cabinet. And it locks in and it has uh, numbers and letters and everything and what I did with this one is I put all of my needles in here my circular needles and I started off with like the front ones uh, the one through let's see how did I do this uh, the one through one through nine, yeah, because I don't have any needles bigger than that. The one through nine, I put my bamboo needles. So, you know, a size two is in the two, and three is in the three, and onward. And then in the once it gets to ten, so size. I just took the, the one off of the 10, so it's zero, one, two, three, and that's where I put my wooden needles at. And I keep those in there by whatever size, and I kept them in their package so I know uh, to put them back in. And what I do is, when I have my package out, like the needles that I'm using, in the back of that bag, I keep that package for the needles so I know those are the right needles. Just like now these are a size ones. I got finished with them. So I'll put these under 11. And I just put those under there. And then I just keep all my needles like this all together. And it just sits on the side. And all of my circular needles. And there's no falling out. And I keep them right in their case. And that just sits over there like that. And next I'll show you the yarn that I picked up from um, Joe uh, Michaels uh, when they had them on they had them on sale for $2.29. And I'm gonna be making some toys out of them. I'm gonna try. I saw people make socks out of it, so I'm gonna give that a try. I even saw somebody made a beautiful shawl out of it. And um, it's fingering weight size one. And uh, I'm going to just try that out and see how that goes. Okay, I also found some buttons that I'm going to be using on my um, uh, little project bags that I made. Make. Uh, I have a very, like a baby pink and then a hot pink. And these were on clearance. And I also picked up the Project Keeper. I went there on two different times so I could use my 40% off coupon. And I used, I bought two of these, these uh, Project Keepers. So I used my 40% off coupon the two times that I went in there. And they're just simple. I wish they came in different colors. But they only had this red crocodile. And... Then you lay your uh, your sheet across here and put your magnets down to keep your project down, and then it stays in place. And your uh, your bag. Then for Joann's, I bought uh, some sock yarn. This is uh, Deborah Nor Deborah Norville Collection Serenity sock yarn. Uh, I bought two of these. And the red. And one in the green. And I also found 
one more of these uh, uh, the Peyton silk bamboo uh, that was on clearance in the what color is the spark it is 70% bamboo 30% silk Okay, also from Joann's, I picked up some more of the clearance, uh, Deborah Norval, uh, the wooden fixed, these are the fixed knitting needles, and I picked up three size threes, these were on clearance for $1.97, and a size four. two size zeros and I picked up a size one that I have in my bag that I'm using now and then for her interchangeable needles I picked two size eights these were also $1.97 and these were all 97 cent each the uh, cables so I got some 24's, 32's and 40's as you can tell I really love her needles And now from Michael's, I picked up this uh, wool-like, uh, what is that, semi-lane, or maybe that's the wool-like in a different, uh, from the Loops and Thread, it's a fingering weight, super fine number one, and it is 85% acrylic and 15% nylon. So I was going to experiment with some socks with these. These were all on sale, so I got one of each color. I have the mauve, beige, no, I picked up two of the whites, No, one white, one ivory, teal lake, denim blue, purple. That's coming out blue, but it is absolutely purple. Chocolate. Cool gray. Navy. And red.